All right, joined now by the Chargers' first-round draft pick, DJ Fluger. DJ, it's been a whirlwind, you know, past 24 hours since you were drafted. Have you gotten any sleep? Not yet. Not, not currently, but I will later on. <laughs> What's it been like for you? What have the emotions been like since you were drafted, since you found out you're flying to San Diego? What has this past, you know, ordeal been like? Um, been very fun, you know, very emotional. Some of my friends still call me, call me now, like, man, we just seen your TV last, last night. Now, now you're here. You know, um, been, been having fun, been enjoying it so far. How many texts did you get last night? I had over 230 <laughs> text messages in one night. That has never happened. You answered you answer them all yet? I still have <laughs> answered, and it's still picking <laughs> off right now. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, now you're here in San Diego. What are you feeling as you walk through the halls? This is your new home. This is your new organization. I'm feeling great about it. You know, I, I met the coaching staff today, and they taking me, taking me as one of their own. And now I just can't wait to wait, wait to actually play and actually show my skills. Now you're coming from a winning program, back-to-back -back national championships there under Nick Saban with Alabama. What's that mentality give you as a player? That winning mentality. What does that do for you as a player? Um, it makes you a leader. It makes you lead on the field. It makes you be able to lead your team during a hard time. Because Coach Co Co Saban, go back, go, go back to that thing he's always says adversity, being able to fight through adversity, being able to overcome things. And that's the, that's the main thing, you know, being able to, uh, to overcome being down two touchdowns and actually coming back, coming back and, and, and actually winning a ball game. You know, things like that, and that happened in, in the SEC Championship a while, a while back. And, you know, bringing that mentality here, being able to, to have that I will not be denied attitude. And that's what you want to have to a that's what you want to bring to a team. I will not be denied. I like it. Hey, you blocked for some great running backs, Trent Richardson, a Eddie Lacy. Doing that, what, is that, what kind of pride do you have in blocking for those running backs? And seeing when they make a touchdown, do you feel like, hey, that touchdown's for me too. I, I did a little bit of help in that. <laughs> you know, um, I know, I know offensive linemen don't really get too much credit, but yeah. I love blocking for, blocking for running backs that actually want to, want to take pride in what they're doing. I was running the ball hard, you know, and and that's it, that makes me excited because Ryan Matthew, he, he's a great running back, and I want to bring him to the promised land every single play if if, if I can. The, the Chargers have struggled a little bit in their run game, so you excited to get in there, really do some work, and try to open up that run game for him? Uh, I want to bring it, bring it to them defense in every single play I can, bring that team with me because we coming to this year. I love it. That's fantastic. Hey, you are a guy that we saw you in college. You're running down the sideline. You're hooting and hollering. You're getting. You want to be the Ray Lewis of the O line. You said, Met, emotionally, what part of you know what does that game do for you? What part of that game is is important to you to have that emotional, bringing your teammates up and making them pull through the the tough times? You know, and that's part of being a leader. Right? I mean, you, you say the cry for Quite frankly, right there, you know, being a leader, that's what you got to do. You have to be able to back it up every single, single time. And I, even when things are going bad, you still have to bring your team up and carry them with you. And that's the main thing. That's what I, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to be able to give them that prior, that security that, hey, all my, these 11 guys on, on offense, we're going to do our job, get it done, and get out of here with the win. Same thing on defense. Get, and when, when you have all those guys playing together, they, they have that bond that I would not be denied at all, at all costs. So at the end of the day, they they got you. Uh, you seem like you love the game. Little little passion there, right? Look, gotta love it. How can you how can you not love football? That's the main thing. How, how can you, how can you not love it? To me, being being, being football is, is, is like being at the fair. It's, it's, it's my playground. Being at the fair, you're fantastic. All right, what are you most looking forward to eating here in San Diego? Um, I've heard about the tacos here, yeah, the fish good. tacos here, but I, I haven't tried them yet. Go walk to one of those restaurants and tell them you will not be denied. You're getting some fish tacos. All right, DJ, thank you so much for your time, and best of luck to you this year. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you.